Agent Morris. I think there's Nazis living in America. And someone out there has taken him out. I was cast about uh, maybe three months or so before we began shooting. And when I read the pilot, it was just, I'd never read a pilot script like that before. And I was very uh, impressed and intrigued by how it melded genres so seamlessly. And, and, and nothing felt out of whack. I mean, with this kind of subject matter, it's, kind of, it's pretty heavy. And there's, there's a really wonderful balance of, of uh, somberness and levity and, and humor and, and violence and all of these elements in there. And I never, I never read a script that, did, that threaded that needle so well. And when it came to my character, Millie, I'd also never read a script that just, the elements of her that are introduced in the first episode I connected to so immediately, uh, and that was just a really great seduction in a way. <laughs> yeah. And so I was uh, excited to explore the possibility of coming onto the show. She's a woman of integrity. She's a woman with a strong moral backbone. She wants to make a difference in the world. She wants the world to make sense. Uh, these are all things that I understand. And also, you know, she has this, these elements of her identity that uh, don't quite jive with how she presents herself to the world. Um, and she's also trying to uh, make sense of herself in a world where she doesn't really see any reflections of who she is. And these are all things that just instinctively, you know, I, I understood, I empathized with, and I was very excited to explore, you know, like, long term. There is a right way and a wrong way to get justice. Psycho killer. You do this, you become the evil you are fighting. If you hunt monsters, are you a monster? Does it turn you into, does it turn you into a monster? Or does it take that to be able to effectively hunt them? Yeah. One of the lines that they put into the trailer, which I, I really love, uh, because I think it's so complicated underneath, uh, but it's presented as a very simple idea. Uh, when, when Millie first meets Jonah, Logan's character, she's telling him there's a right way and a wrong way to get justice. And it's a very pithy, succinct idea that's very black and white and very indicative of where she is in her journey. And boy, does that shit get complicated by the end of the series. And I think, you know, that's, that's so reflective of real life. Um, and and in, the, in, the, in the way that, that for Jonah, this story is kind of a coming of age story for him, you know, this 19-year-old boy kind of having the bull pulled away from his eyes, it's the same thing for Millie. Uh, she she learns to see not just the world but her influence on the world in much more complicated ways and that question of do you have to be do, does does evil infect like there even even that question itself there's so many ways to consider it does does hunting evil infect you or you know does it does it turn you and also even aside from evil there are questions of like who who's guilty and who's culpable when we're talking about Nazis because those are two very different concepts and what is justice what is vengeance like this show is presenting all of these questions and not providing answers which is one of the strong points of the show I think and what makes it so interesting.